today is a good day mm -hmm. because poison came in the mail. So we're gonna give these a shot and hope mm -hmm. this nightmare ends. Let's go, shall we? Let's do it. We have cockroaches. Oh my god, I'm gonna throw up. You ready to Ladies do this? Ladies and gents, this is the moment you waited for. Bum, bum. I took out my really cute high bun that I had on point today for this, so yeah, hope everyone appreciates it. We literally mm -hmm. haven't opened this since last night, since we sprayed everything, so. I love you. Tell them what you've been worried about. That they're gonna jump on your face. And my hair. In your hair and yeah. eat you. First, we look for babies. Okay, good there. There. No. Sweetheart, you're not going there. I know, I'm so nervous for you. Be careful. Lots and lots of dead ones. They're not all tucked in the corners like they were last night. So let me check this side. Oh yeah, they've been living in here for a while. So the good news is, at first glance, I don't see any live ones. Okay, at least they're not jumping out like last night. And True. Good stuff. You okay? <laughs> Babe! It's in the drawer! That's the spice rack. Oh, well it just dropped in there then. Sorry, dude. Are you though? I am, I feel bad about this. I do not. So I vacuumed up some of the dead ones. Oh, there's more egg sacs. This is all cockroach poop. There's so much poop. It's disgusting. I ended up sucking up six nests, egg nests in total. So that could be why there's so many of them, like if they were living in there for that long or we stopped them from hatching. I sucked up a lot of poop and a lot of dead bodies. There was one big one that got away and I don't know where he went. That's not bad. I thought we were gonna open this again and there would be a lot of them in there and really there was only like a few baby ones alive, a teenager and the big one. So I'll do this again tomorrow on Sunday and then on Monday the bait should be here. I think we call it a day. Now we're supposed to make dinner. Okay, first of all, this is not my color. It makes me look like a dead person mm. on my face. Oh, okay. For anyone watching this, I'm trying new lipstick and blush colors, and this is not my color. Not yours? Mm -mm. Okay. Can't even see myself from here. I look okay. Good. Yeah, ew. Okay, <laughs> let's just get on with this. Saturday, we ended up cleaning till 7 p.m., 7.30 p.m., and then we went and got pizza and wings. We were not ready to cook or eat anything in the camper. We ate it in the truck. We did. Mm -hmm. We've been eating a lot of our food outside because we're grossed out. And it turns out ever since we have been spraying their home every night, they are not happy about it. Mm -hmm. And they've been coming back out mm -hmm. and climbing on the counters. Found one giant one by our bed in a new development while I was filling the toilet to just go poop. <laughs> one flew by my shoulder. Flew. So they really brought out the big stunts mm. and then I sprayed it to death in our shower. So as you can imagine, we have not been eating as much because gross. We have not been sleeping well at all. But today is a good day mm -hmm. because poison came in the mail. So we're gonna give these a shot and hope mm -hmm. this nightmare ends. So honestly, like it looks pretty good under here. I don't see any poop any new nest eggs so i'll wipe this with soap and water why are they smelling banana bread well if you were a roach wouldn't you want to eat banana bread yeah, <laughs> yeah. i put two of the black traps back in these corners one all the way against that wall and then one more in this corner so this is like the hub finishing touches you could definitely be a surgeon after this 
I think so too. Or an anesthesiologist. Definitely. Man, I hope this works. I did secret spots up here. It's not pretty, you can like see it, but you're supposed to be able to easily monitor if it's gone, like if they eat it. You know what else isn't pretty? Cockroaches. True. Here we are at midnight again. We're so sleep deprived. I took the pillows off of our bed, the decorative pillows. And wouldn't you know it, a f adult deedily right there on the bed. Up until four seconds ago, we have not seen them anywhere in our bedroom. So that was like our one safe space. And now we don't feel comfortable sleeping there and we have no idea where it came from. So now we're gonna tear apart all of our bedding. We saw him crawling in here that they're like inside our duvet cover. We think it's too late to go to a hotel, but if we start taking this apart and they're in there, we're going to a hotel. Clearly looked through everything and there's no more deedlies, but we're thinking maybe because the bait has dried out and it's hard that we put out a couple of days ago that they're looking for food. So I'm just going to apply another round of bait right now so we can go to sleep. Okay, today is day seven of the Deedly infestation. And as you saw from the footage last night, things are going well, but they're not. And so we've put out mm. the gel bait and they've started to die. And there was a bit of a situation when I researched how they actually died. And then I started crying because I felt like a terrible human. She actually wept. So we've been sucking up dead ones, mm -hmm. which is great, but then last night happened. So I felt like before last night, we had washed all of our sheets, we got one good night of sleep, mm -hmm. and we were like really excited. You're like, man, that felt neat. Yeah. Let's we, do that again. We thought that like, you know, I guess in my head, I thought it would be like a day of them dying and it would be over. Mm -hmm. Maybe two. And that didn't happen because they're obviously still alive because there was a giant one on your pillow last night. A palmetto, palmetto on, on my, my pillow. pillow at, I'm on my pillow. pillow. This is your second day off. It's Friday. We wanted to go do like a walking tour or a carriage ride. And we finally just had the conversation that we're sleep deprived, like very sleep deprived. I'm really tired. And so we're thinking we're just gonna go do a couple of things today, like go to some parks, see some sites that are not downtown, and then just come back to the camper and edit some footage. And we're okay with that. And drink some Starbies. Yeah, we are gonna get Starbies because we can't function very well right now. <laughs> I'm so I might excited. even get a regular. What? Half calf. One thing I've noticed with this lifestyle, you feel like you always have to go do everything. But mm -hmm. the truth is like, sometimes your body's just like, no, we're not doing that. And honestly, I'm good with the stuff that we got to do. Like we've crammed in a lot and we still have all day tomorrow. We've done more in Charleston than we've done in any other city, I'd say. I would agree with that. Yeah. You want to go get some Starbucks? Oh, fuck, you never have this. feels hopeful but it's also daytime and nighttime is when it gets scary okay so while we were drinking coffee at whole foods we went in and got some eucalyptus oil because people on the interweb said that if you spray your bed and your linens and things like that with peppermint and eucalyptus the cockroaches will stay out so we're gonna try that what time is it babe it's time to check for them deedlies okay you go first <laughs> thank you I remember this morning when I woke up that we had an electric stove top and I said to Bethany, okay, we have to start cooking. If you get that out, we can set up our outdoor kitchen and pretend like nothing is wrong and just cook outside so we don't have to deal with the deedlies. Denial. 
denial is the best option right now. I'm sanitizing the dishes as we always do. We're pre-washing the dishes. We're pre-washing the dishes because no one wants deedlies touching what you cook your food. Oops. So how did the nightmare end? Well, my mom had a heart attack. Don't worry, she's okay now. But what does this have to do with the Deedleys? Well, we're from Northern Michigan and it was April. Northern Michigan is not warm at the end of April. It's terrible. And Deedleys hate the cold just as much as I do. We packed up, canceled our campgrounds for the next two months and headed back home. We drove 26 hours in three days to get back to our family. Mom's heart attack was bad news for our family, but it was also bad news for the Deedleys. Driving back into the frigid cold finished off whatever few Deedleys remained. I mean, we had a new challenge on our hands now, caretaking for my mom, but at least the Deedley nightmare was over. Thanks for tuning in to the Cockroach Chronicles. We hope to never talk to you about this again.